I mean, it was like skin tight to the skin, you know, where they take the, the Velcro and they'll like do it all the way, basically around their stomach. All right, so the belly holster, um, I got this off of eBay or Amazon, I'm not sure, but uh, when, I, when I was looking at the holsters, um, and it was hard to look for holsters that are like really concealable, but then you also got some are just bulky and some are just, just weren't good quality. And when I discovered that a belly holster is a thing, I thought to myself, well, pff, when I go ahead and get it, right? As you can tell, it's over my, um, over my shirt instead of uh, under my shirt. The reason why is because I, I wear, I wear, you know, fitted shirts, right? I can't sit, I can't wear uh, a, a tight t-shirt that stretches and you know, and you see the, the holster, you see the gun. There's no, there's no point of that. Um, I wear it and being that it's winter is the perfect time to wear it. And this is how I wear it with the coat, just like this. So I'm, you know, I'm in, I'm in the stores, I'm walking, I can zip it up all the way and not think anything of it, right? But knowing that it's, it's, it's here, you obviously can't see it because it's under my coat, right? My coat's thick. Um, and I think for me, that's the best way to, to deal with uh, a belly holster. Now, when I seen that, you know, when I seen reviews, it's, I think it's a little bit, a little bit exaggerated because people who, who did the reviews, they like really like, I mean, it was like skin tight to the skin, you know, where they take the, the Velcro and they'll like, do it all the way basically around their stomach and for me it's just uncomfortable right and you don't know how long that you don't know how long you're out for if you just go on you know a trip or whatever so i think having it to where it's not where it's just comfortable where it's not too tight but not too loose pretty much where you can um f basically feel like it's not there um don't exaggerate it you don't want to could be cut in circulation because that's just not the way to go. You want to faint, especially when you have a firearm in your in your side. You don't want to do that. So as you see here, um, this is basically versatile. You can put any. The good thing is this is universal. You can put any gun in the holster, um, and I'll show you guys what this looks like up close in a minute. But right now I have my Smith and Wesson uh, MMP. Okay. Yes, it is not loaded. It's unloaded. And yeah, this is a full size pistol, full size. And being that it is a full size pistol, my thing was, how the hell can I con conceal carry a full size pistol if I don't have the right, you know, holster? Hence why I bought the belly holster because I can put anything in it. I can put my my Zonic, uh, you know, uh, TP9 SFX. I can put my uh, my Ruger. I can put my Smith and Wesson SD40VE. I put my Walther P uh, P22. I put a number of guns in this holster and no issues, right? Um, the only downfall is again having it to where you know you you kind of feel uncomfortable after like three hours. Um, again, who the hell's gonna carry you know a, a firearm for three hours? But you don't know, right? Um, after a while, I feel like in some weird way, I feel like the elastic just stretches out the nylon stretches out to where the gun kind of just starts to sink in a little bit and that's what you have to address other than that i think it's fine what i did have to do was and it came like this i recommend not buying a holster off of ebay and this is the reason why all right so this is the holster right um <laughs> if you look closely i pretty much super glued a piece of suede slash uh it's like a wire in the suede um it was for headphones but i actually had to super glue it because i felt like the trigger wasn't secure enough and there's a lot of uh a lot of movement within this uh stretchy i guess fabric here and the only thing that that, that was kind of secure i guess was the clip here All right you clip that and you're good to go i didn't like that i wanted extra security so what i did was i improvised and went and cut something and basically subglued um like a wire uh slash it's 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 a wire inside of a suede it protects the trigger 
I improvise, don't make fun of me. It's all good. And I actually had this for a good amount of time. Um, it, there's no, again, no, no major concerns, no major issues with it. The only thing was the picture didn't really show what, exactly what I was gonna get. It showed something different. But when I got it, I guess I was happy because, you know, it's a blade holster. I was excited to have it. But I recommend getting one. Um, do I recommend having this every single day for your concealed carry? No. I do recommend getting uh, a standard, at least a Kydex holster, and you know, pretty much going from there. And knowing that you do have a backup, if your gun decides, if you feel like you know you, you want to have the gun a little higher up, you can do so. And that's the good thing about this. You can put it, you know, uh, right below the, the waistband. You can put it above the, you know, right at the midsection. Or if you, you know, if you're really ballsy, you can have it right almost toward the armpit. So that's the good thing about adjustable belly waistbands. So to make it easier for you, I actually uh, left the link down below. Uh, you can actually get these on Amazon. It is the uh, the good quality kind. Again, I feel like I got like the the off brand. I forgot what brand it was for the belly holster, but I pretty much got the off brand. <laughs> when I got it, I, I knew instantly I was like, damn, this is kind of disappointing because the quality just isn't as they showed. But the one I linked down below is the good quality one. So go make sure you go ahead and link down below and get that. Uh, it's like 20, 25 bucks. Can't go wrong with that, especially for a uh, holster because we know holsters, good holsters are not cheap. So make sure you go to link down below, get you one. And as far as a full size pistol, again, you can have any type of pistol you desire, your heart desires. Make sure you make sure you make sure that that trigger guard is covered and is uh, secure. It, people who own the Smith & Wessons know that that uh, safety is a big thing, but you know, that, that trigger is always ready to go. Um, there's no safety button. There's no, um, you know, you, there's not a ton of safety mechanisms that they added with the Smith & Wesson, but again, any gun that, you, that your heart desires, you can put it in the holster. Just make sure guys, please, that the trigger is secure, right? I mean, we all know this, we're all gun owners. We're proud gun owners, but make sure you go ahead and do what you're supposed to do, okay? Don't be, you know, all about the holsters when your trigger is, is basically st its head sticking out waiting for it to get pulled. Don't wanna do that. So I know in the comment section, you guys are gonna, some of you guys are gonna go ahead and say, oh, well, why don't you just have the shirt over your head or wear a bigger shirt? Because I don't feel like it, that's why. I like to have my shirts fitted, stretchy, right? Um, and yes, I do wear a coat with the belly holster because my heart desires to, so. I can wear it and not think anything of it, right? <laughs> Bam. We walking on the street, you won't even know I have it, right? And there are some days where, you know, I might wear a bigger shirt on purpose to, uh, you know, uh, conceal, carry my my in my inside the waistband holsters, not a belly holster. I would never, I wouldn't do that because for me, it's just not comfortable. Always get something that you're comfortable with because that builds your confidence in drawing your firearm and using your firearm. I always say this in my videos. And while you're at it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, uh, like the video. Let me know your thoughts on a belly holster. If you think uh, it's good to go in your end, or if you think it's just crappy and you just uh, decided to not even, even furthermore watch this video because of how bad the belly holster is. For me, I think it's good. Um, again, you gotta have a purpose to wearing a belly holster. It's, it should not just be a one-stop shop. Uh, I think, I believe a one-stop shop is a holster that you come comfortable with and one that's pretty durable. Um, these aren't that durable. They say you can use it for running. I wouldn't use it for running, especially with a full-size uh, pistol. I wouldn't do that. And again, being the fact that it is a full-size pistol, uh, this is, I can feel it right now. It's, it has a little weight to it. Um, and this is besides what I have in the mag. So this is, this adds some more weight to it. But again, always use if you're gonna use this use it for a purpose in my case my recommendation to you is to use it over a coat over you know a, a big shirt if your heart desires it doesn't matter i just wouldn't wear it, um pretty much every day i wouldn't wear it i wouldn't depend on it is what i'm saying uh, i give it i give the comfort uh, i'd say about a seven and i would give the reliability uh, drawing the gun, I give it about an eight. 
And as far as price, I mean, I would give that about a nine because again, for 20, 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, again, you do have a secure uh, Velcro. You can adjust it. Uh, adjustable is a plus too. So guys, get one if your heart desires. If not, it's cool, we can still be friends. No hard feelings, go on one. Link is down below. Guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe in the video. And as always, this is Gun Trails. I'm Jimmy signing out. Peace. Thank you.